Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel today. As you can already see the title, we're not going to showcase Belzimon X, that's what we did last time. Today we're gonna showcase Belzimon X Fallen, which is the next evolution above it, right? So you can see we have Belzimon X, which is double S plus, and here we have Belzimon X Fallen, which is triple S and therefore a little bit stronger as well. So if you're taking a look at the stats, it has a base HP of 12,344, base DS of 3,436, and a base uh, AT of 4,302, while it still maintains an attack speed of... Um, actually, it should be, it should be, it should be 2-2. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, that was, that was super dumb. Uh, let me get, let me get rid of that buff. Let me get rid of that buff. Yeah, still maintains an attack speed of 2.0. Okay, not 2.4. Actually, wonder I'm kind of bad on math. Maybe you want to calculate if you have AO with 5,300 something. Um, where's my gear? Is it this one? I hope it is this one. I really hope it is. Okay. Um, if you have AO with 5,300 something, and then you have this one with, uh. With 4,300, but the difference is 2.0 to 2.4. Who's actually stronger? I'm kind of bad in math with attack speeds and shit, but anyways, maybe you can tell me. Then we have a critical rate of 28%, hit rate of 540, defense of 341, and block rate of 0, evo <laughs> avoidance of 43%. I'm sorry. Okay, so in this, and the overall stats are able to be seen here. And then I'd say, we're gonna take a look at the skills. I hope they have names this time. Skill number one, Darkness Claw with 13,900. Skill number two, Gluttony Flare with 31,000. And skill number three, seven Full Cluster. Yeah, well, I guess there's not much left to say than let's go into the dungeons. As always, the first dungeon on the list will be EDG, which is pretty good to show off the skills. Um. And also have a great, <laughs> have a great comparison between times actually, but yeah, it's it's mainly good to show the skills so we can see them all. Mega Citramon is not that strong, dying fast, and we can just um, flex a little bit. But as always, after we've seen uh, after we've seen the skills, we're gonna see us back at Suan Woman to see how fast we actually are. Okay, Suan Woman last ten percent, trying to make that puddle. But I don't care, I will just go through. And then we can say we only needed 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty pretty decent time for EDG solo. Yeah, I'm always... I must admit, when I'm on the test server testing out the new release, I would like to have a little group trying how fast we could actually go through it with this full group. That would be really interesting. But hey, I'm only alone, sadly. Feels bad, man. Give me a like, because I'm sad. And then we gotta go into BDG, which is one of the main attractions today. We're together with QDG, which I hope we can beat fast. Of course, Interimon, actually not that interesting. I'd say we're gonna skip it. We're gonna make it compact, right? We're gonna make it compact. We're gonna only show Bayou Mon, so we can invest a bit more time into QDG. All right, Bayou Mon. Welcome to your execution. I hope it will be one. <laughs> I hope I won't I won't get killed by his guilds, but yeah. I don't think it should happen. We should be strong enough. We did 200k DPS. Back then I got told like when um, the Biomon, uh, Biomon skill was kind of broken. Yeah, I got told. I got told that if you have 100k DPS overall, you can push him into the areas. Oh, I, I just skipped the time. I will re-show it here. Yeah, I will I fade it in again. Um, I got told if you have 100k DPS in total in your full group, you can push him to the skills where he won't kill you. Because one of the skills, the one where you actually have to split the damage, didn't split. So it just killed everyone in this in this circle. Um, so yeah. And we have double the amount. So we basically have eight party members from back then, just in one person. This is insane. This is how much crit damage and this is how much... Um, pure strength can do and I wonder 
Like, maybe one day, maybe we're gonna make a special episode just, just for science, right? How fast could I go through it if I use Berserker and Analysis? The Tamer skills. And maybe instead of TK, I use Ty. All things I would like to, to think about. Just to see how fast we can actually get through things. And then, as I said, I would like to try how fast I can get through things if I have a full group, but yeah. <laughs> The, the amounts of people on the test server are pretty limited. Due to it's only being open to staff, council members, and uh, promoters. Okay, we arrived at Queen Norman. And we have 9 minutes and 40 seconds left. By the way, if you ask yourself what gear I'm wearing, it's still the same gear I showed you in the King or oh, Black. Wait, King Itamon Black Gear? Yeah, King Itamon Black Gear um, video. Yeah, which I will link you in the video description. Which is basically the update on how my gear changed. And that's the gear I'm now doing all showcases with. Before that video, I did it with another. Uh, with, or with, with different gear, but then I change so I can actually, um, yeah, I can keep the standards, you know? Because at some point, people will just get better gear, and then it makes <laughs> almost no sense to go with the super low gear, but with the strongest Digimon. That's kind of pointless, right? <clears throat> so I adjust it. I mean, even though you can get most of the Digimon are showcased easily, even if you're not paying... A dollar, or you can, or you're just casually uh, attending to events. But yeah, I guess if you, if you're actually farming in events and getting all those Digimon, then at some point you will also gain enough money to buy that gear. So it still makes sense, I guess. Okay, those gusts they shouldn't really be a problem. Ah, uh, come on. Statement, I'm stunned, uh, I'm stunned, I'm silenced, but it should still be dead. Damn, worth it. Okay, nice. Six minutes and 52 seconds. I actually don't know how much time we took with Belzaman, but I will show you the time we took with Belzaman X here, even though you could just check it in the other video. So, then I'd say this was one more showcase, one more Digimon, I mean... That's that's actually a thing. It's technically the same Digimon because it's still Impmon. Yeah, it's the Impmon. It's just an evolution of Impmon. But yeah, people people take it as new release, so I'd say it is a new Digimon. Belzimon X Fallen. Sadly, sadly, the only Digimon that is really interesting me in this um in this event. Yeah, I mean, Bel Belzimon evolutions are interesting me. But sadly, this one is the strongest, and this one is hidden behind the cash wall. I really hope that in this event, someone will draw it from the Halloween machine in the Gambler's Casino with Halloween coins from the cash shop, and then I can buy it from them. That would be awesome. Because, yeah, I want to have it. It's maybe not the strongest, of course. Maybe not the strongest. Maybe Ogudamon is still a better investment, but... A good amount isn't as cool. <laughs> Sadly, that and and you won't see me see that uh, you won't see me say that often. But this time, I'm really going for coolness and uh, and stats instead of only stats because yeah, I'm I don't know if I can choose because a wing uh, if I can choose between a winged devil with a gun and stats instead of having a black spider. With a few more stats, then I would definitely go for Batsumon X Fallen. You can imagine that since this is not the only Digimon in this update, you will also see showcases about Bold Bordermon and Bold Bordermon Fallen. So be hyped for that if you like Bold Bordermon, but I wanted to feature that one first. I am really sorry, Bold Bordermon fans, but you will see the other videos soon enough. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching the showcase and hope to see you on the server soon. Bye bye.